deck is perfect for climbing ladder and for completing your Pixie and Hope Summers weekend missions. When playing high evolutionary decks, our biggest enemies are the cards that can remove Limbo. And that's why high evolutionary decks usually run Leech on turn 5. If you'd rather not play Leech, Hope Summers is the perfect replacement for him. Because if you manage to play her out on turn 3 and literally any card on turn 4 into her location, then on turn 5, you will have 6 energy. And if you skip completely, you'll be able to play She-Hulk for 0 cost and either Infinite or Hulk on turn 6. I admit putting Pixie in this deck is a bit of a copium because she's very unreliable, but you only need to win 4 games with her and it's really easy to do with this deck. Once you do that, you can remove her and replace her with some more useful card. I suggest either Nebula, Cosmo, Shang-Chi or Enchantress, but you can choose any tech card you prefer. Yeah, there's no point playing Magic here, I think, because we don't even need 7 turns. We have everything. We have She-Hulk, we have Hulk, and we even have Sunspot on board, which is amazing, honestly. It's like, how big can uh, this card get on a ride? They don't have that many cards. That cost three or less. Well, they can put a bunch of swarms, I guess. The other biggest card they have, probably Lady Sif. Or Swordmaster, but nobody plays Swordmaster. Pretty easy. Very easy deck to pilot. Oh, Proxima. Well, at least she doesn't go to the right side. So if we add She-Hulk to the right, that's 18. They literally don't have anything bigger to beat us on the right. I think the biggest card they have left is probably a 3 power card. They already played the Morbius. Uh, maybe the Collector, but it's too late to grow him now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're fine. That's probably just a Swarm on the right. Oh, it's Daken. Okay, if Daken was there from the beginning, that would have been a bit scary. But easy clap. Could have even won middle, I think. Oh no. Would have been a tie if I put Kulk in the middle. Sav. Is that a bot? I don't think so, actually. We'll find out now when they play a card. Uh, my hand is not amazing, but I do have Hulk. Which makes it better to skip turn one. Oh yeah, it's not a bot. Bots don't play Kitty Pride. As far as I know, uh, none of the bots play series four or five cards. Sunspot, very nice. And we get to grow a Hulk still. Next turn, I'm thinking either Magic or Cyclops. Ideally, I want to play something that will let me uh, float energy. Better enjoy it until that other card comes. The Red Hulk, I think it's called. Was it Red Guardian? You know the one that gains power for every every time your opponent skips. Uh, uh, not skips. <laughs> every time your opponent floats energy. I forgot the name of the card. Red something. This just in. Vision. All right. Let's hope they didn't get something good. Do I want to play Ho Hope Summers or just Cyclops? I don't know if I need to play Hope now because uh, I already played Magic. The curve is kind of broken for Hope. For Hope. I think I'll just uh, play Cyclops to start debuffing their cards. Die! Oh no. Uh, I don't know if we can contest Danger Room to be honest. Alright, now, I kind of want to float energy, but vision is kind of nice, but vision will buff the Kraken... Kraken? Uh, Craven. <laughs> vision will buff the Craven, so I think I'm just gonna probably not play vision. Probably play hope. And we skip energy for Cyclops, and for Sunspot, and for Hulk. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, they're getting really big. Can we beat them? Time to float. Next turn, just Hulk and She-Hulk. Grow our Sunspot this turn. Sounds good. We actually haven't seen what card they got from us. Maybe it was High Evo. That would be good, because it's useless to them as well. Oh, is that our card? Ah. Wow, they're really big on the right. 20 power difference, but we can still beat it, I think. Because I don't think they have anything big for 
Oh, they snapped me. I don't think they have anything big enough to beat us in the middle. Oh, I guess they can play Vision and Kitty, because Kitty was pretty big. But that's risking it a lot, because, you know, we already have 14 in the middle. And that snap is a bit sus, so I'm kind of scared of alive. I don't think they would expect us to play on the right, to be honest. I'll just put everything on the right, and we'll be able to beat them. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's Kitty was 5, not 6. Oh. That's juicy. Yeah, they expected us to play on the left because of how much of a power difference there was on the right. But they should have known we had Hulk in our hand. And our Hulk will be a lot bigger than theirs. Okay, we gotta destroy it from uh, the Great Portal. I forgot to record earlier. Nebula. Ah, Nebula always scares me. Nebula is always some kind of uh, a lockdown, isn't it? We can risk it with Pixie. And hopefully we'll get something good. Maybe the Hulk will swap with something small? We do already have Infinite and She-Hulk in our hand though. Oh, Mindscape is interesting. Play Kyra just to protect our... 6 drops for when we want to play them out. And I don't have Hulk in my hand, so I don't need to float. Ooh. It's a mirror match. I'll just play the Haibo in the middle. Yeah, I can't really play anything. I mean, I could have skipped, but it doesn't really do anything except discount the She-Hulk. No sunspot on the board. Feels bad skipping uh, and floating. I mean, we're giving them some really bad cards. <laughs> I'll play my She-Hulk. I'm not scared because I have Kyer on board. But we do know if they skip, they'll be able to play Infinite. If they don't skip, they'll be able to play Destroy. Oh. Okay, they, uh, they couldn't... Uh, now they can play Destroyer. They couldn't play Destroyer before. Yikes. So we definitely lose um, right side. Oh! Well, actually, Pixie did something. Oh, they also have Pixie deck. And they have Sentry, but that's from the Great Portal. I think I can play Sentry in Hulk. Um, 20 on the left. That beats the... 20 on the left. Hulk in the middle. 16. But we float, we so also gain. So it's 18 in the middle and sentry on the left is 20. We always beat the destroyer because the Jeff will die unless they move it to the right side. Yeah, this is... we can't lose. It's impossible to lose. Unless they drew like Shang-Chi or something. But even Shang-Chi, they can't because we have Kyera. Oh, nice. And now Hulk grows. GG's. Dead rabbit indeed. Oh, that's a really nice hand. Starting off with Sunspot always feels really good. And the Kiln. Perfect location for our Sunspot. And Armor. Uh, and I actually have my Curve. So I don't even need magic. I just need to draw my She-Hulk now. And we have everything we need. Oh, Pixie on turn 2 is kind of scary. You never know what they're gonna pull out. Pull out? Pull out? Pull off? You know what I mean. Oh, the super flow is amazing. I can even put the Cyclops out now if I want to. Yeah, might as well. Like, I don't even need hope anymore. Oh. Okay, Mobius is bad for me. Mobius means She-Hulk is useless. Don't like that. I could also skip and play Infinite next turn. Oh, this is fine. Oh, we can always beat that. I just literally need to skip for like... 3? Float 3 energy and we're good? Oh, even not that, because we have Cyclops. As long as we float both turns, we're fine. Maybe we should have snapped. But I think if I snap now, they might retreat. Ooh. Well, I don't think they have anything big enough to beat us on the right now. But I don't think they were gonna go for right side. Okay. I I feel like they could have had a life maybe. Oh, it looks like a bot to me. I don't really usually include like I try not to include bot gameplay in deck videos unless it was you know that pixie one that I got from the test server. But um, there's still a lot of people who don't know. There are bots in-game and don't know how to recognize bots. 
So I think I will um, just commentate through this. And if you are interested, I made a whole video on how to recognize bots and how to beat them. And I will leave a link in the description and above me. So this deck is actually really, really good for beating bots because it's super easy to lose priority. And when you lose priority, a lot of the time the bot will snap because they think they're winning. They don't understand that, you know, just because we skipped turn six uh, and are winning only one location, that we have enormous power we can play on turn um, seven. I can play her on a right, honestly. It's not bad. And then I, I don't need magic. So I just completely skip turn five. And we've got Hulk and She-Hulk in hand. Oh, Jubilee is scary though. Because they always end up pulling something really big. Yep. And now this, maybe they snap us? The, a lot of the time, if the bot is winning um, the game... On turns 4, 5, or 6, they will snap. Always at the very, very beginning of the turn. Like, as soon as the turn starts, snap. That's what a bot does. Okay, now we'll see if they do it. Hopefully. Oh, wait. I don't think they will. Will they? Because we're winning at the moment. Oh, they did snap. Oh, wait. Because... Because they drew a card and their dino grew bigger, they got a uh, priority. So they thought they were winning. That's why they snapped. Okay. And because they snapped, they couldn't retreat. <laughs> Easy. So this is how you bait a bot. <laughs> 